I'm Jen and welcome to Tasty Memories. This is a very special episode dedicated to the one and only Julia Child, who has been such an inspiration to me and to many cooks around the world. So to celebrate her birthday, I made a little uh, haiku and it goes like this. To my Julia, the greatest teacher of all, I love butter too. So last year in season two of TC Memories, we dedicated a whole series for Julia Child's 100th birthday as part of Cook for Julia. And we're invited to an event at the French Consulate here in New York. We're able to uh, interview her friends and family. So you guys can check out the footage and a little blog post on that. Go to justlief.com and I'll leave a link in the description. Now onto the recipe, we're gonna make something inspired by mastering the art of French cooking, which is the ratatouille. Uh, because all the veggies are in season, it's August, and we're gonna make it grilled and a galette. And since the veggies and the galette are going to be layered in a beautiful circular pattern, we want to make sure that they're cut about the same size and width uh, so that they cook evenly and they look pretty. We'll season that with salt and ground pepper, lots of it. And some really good olive oil. Just mix it all up. You're going to let this sit for about 10 minutes. And you don't do the uh, tomatoes and onions now because they're too delicate and they'll just fall apart. You just season those later. So now our veggies are ready for the grill. Let's cook them until they get tender. All right, so I pulled the veggies off of the grill and while I'm waiting for it to cool down, I'm gonna make a little goat cheese spread that we're gonna put on the bottom of the galette. And it's really easy to do. You just have to take some of the goat cheese and kind of spread it out in a bowl so you make it soften a bit. And just add some minced garlic, really easy. And what this does is it prevents the veggies from really soaking the dough and making it soggy. That way it stays extra crisp. And now we're ready for the dough. I've had this sitting out for about a few minutes so it can soften a bit because it has a lot of butter because it makes it really good um, just to soften up a bit. So you just want to roll it out into a circular shape. Again, you can do this with store-bought dough. It's all up to you. I just think when you make it on your own, it tastes so much better. Okay, so my dough is nice and big and round. I'm just going to transfer it to the rolling pin and onto a baking tray like this. If you don't have just a flat circular one, you can use your regular rectangle one. You can just invert it on the grill and just place it on like that. Now we're going to add the goat cheese mixture and just spread it out. Make sure you leave an edge because what a galette does is it folds over in the top like this. So just make sure you have some room around the edges. And now we can lay our veggies in alternating colors, just like that. And once you have one layer, you sprinkle on some beautiful parsley and keep going. and are ready to fold up the galette. It's really easy to do. You just kind of make these creases like this. So you just pull it up, fold one side over, and just keep on going. I love how you could be as rustic as possible because I can't make things nice and circular. So if you're like me, then this is the perfect recipe for you. Now the key to having the crust be really nice and flaky is to keep the butter that's in the dough cold. So we're gonna put it in the fridge just for like maybe 15 minutes uh, so it can firm back up before we put it on the grill. 
Okay, Garlette is ready to go in the grill. First thing, I want to make sure the edges get a little brown. It won't get as brown as it would in an oven, but just a little bit. We're going to add some egg wash. I can't find my brush, so I'm using a fork. What else does the same job, right? Okay, now it's ready for the grill. So just leave the lid on for about 10 to 15 minutes and check on it every so often to make sure that the bottom hasn't burnt before the edges have time to get crisp. And then we're going to take off the lid and let it cook for a few more minutes. That doesn't make you guys happy. <laughs> I don't know what is. It's so delicious. It's a great twist on the traditional ratatouille, um, just in a galette and on the grill. So it makes a perfect summer entertaining dish um, you could just have right after your meats and steaks. And your friends are going to enjoy this. So happy birthday, Julia Child. I love you. I hope that you're seeing this recipe from up above. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.